And we begin with news specialist Mike Anderson, who got a behind the scenes look at the operations getting Utah hospitals the protective equipment they need. Yeah, Friday is the uh, busiest day out here. They've been sorting through uh, two semi loads, and already they've had about four million pieces of PEP. PPE go in and out of here, and uh, several different state agencies all pitching in to get it done. When there's a need, Utahns tend to come together. In this case, it's taking a corner of the Salt Palace Convention Center, turning it into a staging, sorting, and shipping center. It's a big effort across the board. Um, it's huge. For now, Michael Glenn is helping make sure hospitals are getting the exact type of equipment they need. Purchases have to be made fast, and there's a lot to sort through. When you find something, we're not the only ones looking for it. And it's not even just the United States that's looking for it. It's everyone in the world. Office workers and department managers are sorting boxes and driving forklifts. It may not be the original job they signed up for, but it's what they're doing. So it's a pretty amazing effort. Terry Wood, director of communications for the Department of Alcoholic and Beverage Control, says each agency has their own unique ways of pitching in. We can take these PPEs, put them on one of our trucks that's delivering to a liquor store in far out areas of Utah, and it doesn't cost anything to ship it down there. And all of this could change very quickly. Whether we continue to recover or see another surge, Glenn says nobody knows for sure, but they will be ready. That's the tricky part about a, the pandemic situation is there's so many unknowns. But what they do know is there will be people willing to help. And in all, there are six agencies and a number of volunteers all helping out here each day. They're also preparing a number of boxes for small businesses uh, for personal equipment, protective equipment, under 50 employees that are looking for that help as well. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you.